Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy KPR bringing you guys another class setup video and today I will be on the new Lockman sub, the Lockman Shroud. The gun is a 3 burst or semi-automatic SMG, depends on which firing mode you put it on. It's a new addition to the Season 5 Reloaded and can be unlocked via challenges. You must first complete the first 4 challenges before being able to do the Shroud challenges. The challenge to unlock the Shroud was fairly easy, you just have to get 30 kills with SMGs while hip firing. Got it at the beginning of my second match since I just needed one more kill to unlock it. At first it kind of felt like a wonky weapon because it doesn't have the best bullet velocity at all. Around 40ish meters or so it can feel like the bullets take quite a while to travel and you may need to lead your shots a bit. That's why I have created a class setup so you can have a much easier time controlling the recoil and having a lot of firepower at mid ranges if needed. Also, I would suggest using the single fire mode at those ranges because you do more damage in single fire mode and if you hit all your shots around the upper body, it should only take around 3 bullets to mark the target. I've been testing out a few setups for it and was not satisfied about how I should go about it because it has so many flaws at those mid-range fights and the ammo is consumed fairly quickly for a burst. It reminds me of the Chikom from BO2 thought that gun was slept on so much and called it a pea shooter, but the problem was that most weapons in that game were pea shooters due to the dog at hit detection. It shot so fast where it doesn't matter how many bullets it needs to mark someone, just like the Scorpion Evo. But anyways, this gun has moderate recoil, nothing too bad, but there is some. It can get very annoying at the longer ranges. Like I mentioned before, the bullet velocity is not the best, so you won't need to lead your shots around those 40-ish meters or so. So anyways, onto the class setup for the Lockman Shroud. I got tuned 170mm grapple 6, tuned mirror recoil 56 factory stock, 9mm sub HP, LM Cronus grip, and 50 round drum. I tuned the 170mm to have more ADS walking speed so I can just strafe all targets easily and don't have to worry much about my ADS. The barrel also helps out with bullet velocity and damage range so you won't have to lead your bullets as much and keep your shots around 45 shots at the longer ranges. Next I also tune the stock to have more ADS walking speed and it also helps out the recoil, control, sprint speed and aim stability. But of course I sacrifice the aim stability a bit since you don't notice much of a difference on the aim stability so you'll be fine maxing out the ADS walking speed. I don't like how they didn't have any socks that mainly helped out the ADS walking speed, so I had to find a balance between all the socks. I tried all of them and came to the conclusion that the factory sock was the best choice out of all of them, due to it having the least noticeable cons out of them. The other sock that you could switch it out for is the mobile stock, but you will see that there is some noticeable recoil added. These class setups are for everyone, so the average person is able to use this class setup and dominate with it. If you are a veteran player, go ahead and equip the mobile stock and max out the ADS walking speed if you believe you can control the recoil. Next we have the 9mm sub HP. I chose these because you are able to melt everyone so all the other ammo types won't really help out with much. So having crippling power was the best bet since most people always try to run around corners to try and survive most encounters. Fourth attachment I chose was the Cronus Grip since flinch is really annoying on most weapons so I chose this attachment. And the con towards the ADS walking speed is not noticeable, so you will still have a decent ADS walking speed. For my last attachment, I chose the 50 round mag, since you generally run through all the bullets in this gun so fast due to the burst delay being so little. It almost feels like it's in automatic at times, that's how fast it shoots. Now I'll give you guys some tips to dominate with this weapon. Tip number one is don't be afraid to use the single fire mode in mid range fights. I of course did not get to use it in this match since it was shipment, but when I would use it in longer maps like in dome or raceway where there are longer sight lines, I would switch over to the single fire mode and be able to mow down targets in 3 shots or so. It also almost feels like there's no recoil, so you just need to make sure that you're able to aim good enough to be landing your shots. Tip number two, make sure you take advantage of your ADS walking speed so when you're capping points you will most likely not be caught off guard. But there will always be that one cancerous ass MF that will be jumping, sliding, or even dolphin diving around corners with the shotgun, so watch out for those. You may not win those fights, but the other ones you should be chilling. Tip number three is keep an eye on your ammo count, because trust me, you will not believe how fast you run through your ammo the entire time and might get caught lacking if you run out of bullets mid-fight. Tip number four is I would suggest aiming towards the upper torso because you're able to two-shot if you land both headshots, and it feels like you melt them so quickly. 
And even when you don't get those two headshots, your time to kill is still very fast since you're able to just one burst them if you're up close. Those were all my tips to dominate with this weapon and class setup. Let me know what you guys think of this class setup in the comments. If you guys like the class setup, leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. With that being said, have a good day and stay safe. Later.